everyone, welcome back to another MB Perfect Live video. It is Shimf here, and today I want to talk base running. Now, base running and MLB Perfect Inning Live. What is the message I'm trying to get across to you? Don't make outs on the base pads. If you make outs on the base pads, you're taking bats, you're taking the bat out of your best hitters, whether it be right after or, or later in the game. So later on in the in the video here, I'm going to show you guys some examples of what I mean. But some things to keep in mind. Um, situation. If you're behind by if you're behind one or two runs, you need to keep all the base runners you have. Same goes with a tied game. You need to keep all of the base runners you have, and you cannot make outs on the base pads. You make outs on the base pads, you can't score runs unless you hit a home run, and I don't think you're going to hit a home run every at-bat. That's not how the game works. So, remember, situation. The speed of the base runner. Now, this isn't going to be a huge factor. It's more going to be like heads up base running when to steal bases. Now, if it's a tied game, let's I'll give you a situation here. Tied game, runners on first and uh, runners on runner on second, two outs. You try and steal third. You if that runner's safe, great. If he's not, you're screwed. Why is that? Even if he makes it to third, it, more than likely that person's going to score on a single anyways. It's two outs. You can't perform anything fancy or cheesy. It does not make sense. And I'm going to get into more examples later in the video. But situation, speed of the base runner... And something else to keep in mind, know how your opponent is going to play. If they're going to throw to the base every time and not hit the cutoff man, keep that in mind. So, and I'm going to show you guys more examples right now. Alright guys, I'm back to show you some good base running. This is my game against Skull Gaming Network, link to his channel will be in the description below. And so, situation, bottom of the eighth, two, two to two, t runners on first and second, one out. So let's see what he does. So here's Robinson Cano up, good hitter, fouls that one off, that is strike one. Let's just watch a little more, little single here, he sees me throw to home, he knows you want to play that back? Uh, remember, this is Skull's perspective. He sees me throwing to the plate. Now, that's when he sends his runners. This is a very good timing. And why is that? He knows my catcher cannot throw them out. I, honestly, this was a bad little uh, outfield thing by me. I should have done this a little better. But now the runners are on first and second. Sure, the speed isn't the best, but it's heads up base running. If Okay, so the ball was like halfway to the plate, and he sent his runners. That is very good timing. Now. If the game wants to load. Look, Arenado, you don't have to have good speed to have, be a good base runner. You just need to have heads up. You need to be heads up, okay? Alright guys, I'll be back in a sec. Alright then guys, I'm back with my final statement. Don't, remember, mission statement here. Don't make outs on the base pads. That takes the bats out of your best hitters. Don't do it. It's bad. And remember, situation. Is it a tied game? Is, are you t trailing? Are you leading? Are you leading by a lot? Or le are you leading by little? Remember, keep that stuff in mind. Anyways, guys, open choice MLB Perfect in Live video. It's been good. It's been fun. Shimfear, signing out. Have a good day. Peace.